My name is Davin Sturdivant, and in this AIM Learn Fast video, we'll learn how to build user profiles in Race Studio. So I race competition carts, and I'm also a writer for Cart Pulse, which is designed to gather information about the sport of karting and put it into an easy to find place. So when I got in touch with Roger Cadell, who's the national trainer for AIM Sport, we decided to put together some videos about how to use karting data in Race Studio. We've broken them up into these little mini vignettes, hopefully to make it easy to consume. But if you have questions about whatever we cover, just leave a comment below and we'll put it in another video. So I'm going to turn it over to Roger and take it from there. Okay, so Roger, there are maybe about three or four ways that I typically like to look at my data. But whenever I open Race Studio, it takes me sometimes a minute to get my uh, screen sometimes configured the right way or get the reports looking in the way that's easy for me to look at. Are there maybe some shortcuts that I could use to make that a little bit faster? Yeah, ab absolutely. There's uh, We have these things that are called user profiles. And, and even if it doesn't just take you time when you first open it up, even switching between a measures graph and a histogram and, a, and then a histogram to a GPS map and, and, and those things just take time, right? And, and uh, in carding especially, uh, you just do not have a lot of time between times on the track. So it's one of the hardest things, uh, ways of looking at data that I've ran into is karting, just because things happen so quickly. And uh, not only on the cart and looking at the at the data itself, but actually in between runs as well. So time is of the essence. And, and uh, these user profiles are just a very valuable tool. So let's take a look at them and let's, let's see how to build some of them. It's, uh, they're, they're actually easier than what you might think. So we're going to open up, uh, you know, this uh, this heat race here from David again, one of our, our, our kind of our sample tests that we've been using, and uh, it, again, Race Studio always opens up where you last left it. So, uh, boom, we we open up here. We've got speed, we've got engine RPM, uh, exhaust temperature, and uh, and and uh, GPS lateral G's, right? So, so what we want to do when you're going to save a a user profile is you want to get the screen looking the way that you want to look at it this time and the you know the, after the next run and after the next run and next week and next and next year right so you you're basically just saving a look it has nothing to do with the data that you're that uh, that, that session's worth of data but it's 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 all based on the look and the feel of the software looking at any data so uh, try to try to keep that distinction away so don't worry about you know some of the little things but just to uh, get the data the the screen to look the way that you want to and in this case let's build kind of a home base where uh, when when you when you get lost or you want just want to close everything down and kind of get back to where you want to be you, you you push a couple of buttons or you open up a menu and you get there so in this case let's turn off you know exhaust temp and let's turn off our, our lateral accelerometer and and you, and you get just Speed and RPM, speed being one of our money channels. I almost always have speed, to, you know, is at the top half of my screen. And in this case, RPM. And let's say that every time you download data, you want to look at this. This is where you kind of want to start your process. So, so uh, one of the things I try to do is keep these as minimalistic as possible. For if, in other words, if I'm going to look at this measures graph, I don't want anything else, uh, you know, open in the background. I just want it to be as as thin as as possible. So. I look down here and I've actually got the GPS is actually opened up here as a tab on the on the bottom side. So I'm going to go ahead and close GPS. So it, what I want is just the measures graph. You, you don't want to ever close the lap manager or the test database. So we're going to leave those two open and then just the one function of the measures graph. So uh, boom, here it is. I like the line widths. We can change some of those. We've talked about those in some other videos. Uh, I, I like that the red is is my engine RPM, green is speed. I like you know, all these different things. I, the, the way it's set up, I like it. Okay, so we want to save this view. And the way that you do that is you come up to the user profile tab that's over here on the left side in the measures and laps toolbar, and you click on that tab. And you'll see here that they, we have no user profile saved right now. We're, so we're going to save our first one, and we're going to call it home. It's kind of a home base, right? And the way that you save the view that you have set up is with the little this little plus sign, which is create a new user profile. This dialog box opens up here and allows you to give it a name. 
And the, the two radio buttons down below is one is a new empty user profile, and the other one is new user profile with all these current settings. That's the default. That's where it opens up, and you always want to leave it to that. The other one will 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 bring up uh, uh, the, the AIM default settings as a user profile, and that's really not very useful for what you're trying to do. So new user profile with all these current settings. So let's just overtype this, and let's just call it home. Give it a name that means something to you, right? And then, and then click on OK. And nothing really happened. All of you, you can see that there's a little home over here. So I'm going to go back just to show you how this kind of works. And I'm going to click in the Measures tab. And I'm going to turn off Engine. And I'm going to turn on a whole bunch of other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Turn off Speed. And, and so I've kind of just messed up my, my, my home view, right? So what we can do is come right back to the User Profile tab. And if you click on that guy, you'll notice now that we have a, a control plus the one key, or we have these three little icons that are here on the uh, on the right-hand edge. The double-headed arrow loads the user profile, which is what we're going to use in a moment to load the one we've already got saved. The big red X, that deletes that one. So you don't want to click on that one unless you want to get rid of it. And then the little floppy disk, it, that one is if we change some small little things, we can resave home with the new settings. So in this particular case, I'm just going to click on the little double-headed arrow to load this user profile. And it goes right back instantaneously, and it resets speed, RPM, all that sca the scaling, the color, the line width, everything that we had set it as. It, uh, it, it brings it back to home. The other thing you can do really quickly, and some people just love the, the, the keyboard shortcuts, and if you just hold the control key down and, and, and tap on the number one key, not the F1 key, but the one key, and you, uh, it'll just jump right back to it as well. as uh, So you don't even have to open up and move your mouse over here and, and, uh, and open up the user profile tab. Pretty, nice. pretty darn handy. Yeah, that's nice. So let's, let's make a, a second one. You know, some people like a track map or the GPS map on half of the screen and the measures graph on the other half with with lateral Gs, let's say, speed, RPM, and lateral Gs, and a GPS map on, on, on the left-hand third. You know, just a, a way of looking at data so you know where you're at. So let's, let's set that up. So the first thing we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll add the GPS lateral Gs. So now we've got these in these the three windows that we want to take a look at. We're going to open up the GPS map as well. And now you've got a GPS map, and we've got the measures graph. Now the trouble is, is they're right on top of each other, right? So I can click right here at the uh, at the end of this back straightaway, right here with my cursor. I can then go to the GPS tab, and that's where that's happening. That's not very handy of jumping back and forth between my GPS map and my measures graph. So we want to set those side by side. It's kind of a little trick that uh, people find really really helpful. So if you come up here and you just click on the uh, the, the the restore down button, kind of a Windows normal Windows tool. It it brings these things down and makes them, you know, they might be smaller or bigger on your screen, but this is a, you know, you can then grab this thing and and move it around wherever you want to. So what I'm going to do is on the GPS one, we're going to put it up here on the left one third. So I'm just going to take this corner and put it right up into this corner of the main window, and just push it right up there and let go of it and then grab the lower right-hand corner. You can see that turns a double-headed arrow, and that allows me to resize this window any size I want to. So I'm going to bring it over to about, about there, right? So I've got that in about a third of the window. I'm going to do the same thing by making the measures graph the active window. You see that upper right-hand corner is already up in there, and I'm just going to grab this side now, and it goes to a double-headed arrow that's straight across, and I'm going to resize that bugger right up to the edge of that GPS map, a little bit more just to make it so it's a nice tidy and nice and tight. Now, if I click on the in my measures graph and I scrub left and right with my with my cursor, oh, nice. you can see the GPS map is over here. All of my values in my measures and laps toolbar are, are wherever I click. That is kind of a really handy place that a lot of people like to look at data that way. But it just took us what, you know, a minute, minute and a half. To, to set that thing up. Right. And uh, and on your race day, when you're trying to go between and do three or four of these, that just is time that you don't really want to spend doing that. You've got gears to change, you've got tires to change, you've got tire pressures to check, and you've got, uh, you know, you've got to eat, and you've got to, you know, use the restroom, and you've got to do all these different things, right? right. So anything that can save us some time is really a big thing. Definitely. So in this case, let's save this as a user profile. 
So again, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Come up to the user profile tab, click on the add a new one, create a new user profile. And let's just call this, let's call this, uh, you know, let's call this home and GPS, home plus GPS, right? Mm -hmm. And then let's just click on the OK button. So now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to just load home again, just by click. I can just double click right here. I can hit control one or I can hit the load button. So I'm just going to hit the load button because it shows a little better on the video, obviously. So I'm going to load that one. You can see what it did is it went right back to the full screen on the measures graph. You can see the GPS is closed. It's not even down here, right? And then let's say, okay, we, we see something. Oh, well, where are we at on the track right here at this, at this, at this really slow corner right here? Where, where's that at? I don't quite remember. So let's go ahead and load home GPS. You can see that your cursor stays right where it was. And now it's showing that that's the point on the track that you're at, and we can and we can view this uh, very very quickly. It's just build the four or five best ones that you like. The f don't some people want end up getting maybe they build ten or twelve user profiles, but and they can get uh, the list is there and they're easy enough to use. But what I always suggest to people that if you find that you're going back and looking at something, you know. Uh, once or twice a day, you know, or let alone every every time you look at data. But if you if it's a view of data that you like to, to look at, you know, when you get it all set up exactly like you like to, just go to the user profiles and save a new one. It's a very, very handy tool. You know, we can we can uh, we can create a, a split report very very quickly, right? And 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 make it full size. We can then close our GPS and we can close our measures graph. So we have just a split re oops split report now only and come up here create a new user profile split report and click on okay so now we can whip through here i'm going to use the the, the the keys on my keyboard now so i'm going to go back to my reg, my home control one and then just it's just my uh, measures graph control two my measures graph with a c additional channel and my gps map and then control three you know, a split report already, already all oh, built, ready to go. That's really nice. User user profiles are are, are a tool that uh, not that many people use, but a very very powerful tool for just speeding up the entire process and making it much easier and faster to use data and and, and do your data analysis in between runs. That's the end of this AIM Learn Fast video. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you want us to cover another topic. Visit aimsports.com if you want to learn more about Micron products.